This film is intended for eye surgeons for training and education purposes. Viewer discretion is strongly recommended. Hello friends, this is Dr. Deepak Meghur and today we'll have a look at this uh, elderly lady who is presented to us with a faculitic glaucoma. On presentation, the pressures were quite high and we could control it medically and uh, now she's posted for surgery and she's received preoperative mannitol. There are certain challenges when we're dealing with these hypermature cataracts, morgagnon cataracts. The first obviously would be that uh, we need to deal with the capsule which is very flimsy and visualization is compromised because of the leaking fluid. So the main incision is done and the staining of the capsule is performed. After the initial puncture, the the fluid cortex escapes out and uh, I'm able to perform rexus using a forceps. The OVD which I've used here is a dispersive OVD and uh, it is a combination of chondritin sulfate and uh, sodium hyaluronate. I'm using Auro Coat brand which is manufactured by Aurolab and so Rexus could be completed quite easily so it's not an issue here We don't have the cushion of the epinucleus in these patients and uh, it's more likely that the nucleus will be very mobile and challenges would be how do we stabilize this and crack it. So now is the time to do the nucleus management and since the nucleus is mobile and it is slightly denser I would want to ensure that I really hold it well. And for this, I use a small trick. And the trick is I just sculpt a little bit, a few strokes so that I have access to the deeper part of the nucleus. And while doing this sculpting, I ensure that the my second instrument is holding on to the nucleus so that the nucleus stays put and is not wobbly. So once I achieved this little bit amount of trenching inside, now is the time to go ahead and switch on to the chop mode. And the chop mode, I'm using a longitudinal phaco energy only. There's no use of torsional here. I'm using a couple of bursts of phaco energy just to engage the nucleus. And then I go ahead and chop. And we can see that when I do the chopping here, the nucleus burring is released. So I again use a short burst of phaco energy to just bury the nucleus again and then repeat my chop process. The chopping is done in a very controlled manner. I'm not very aggressive to trying to crack the entire nucleus at a single go. Only half the nucleus is split here presently but that's alright. I release it, again go back, rotate the nucleus and engaging the nucleus and trying to chop at another quadrant. It's important for us to realize that in such a case it might not be possible to achieve a full thickness through and through crack at the first instant itself. We need to be a little bit gentle because the zonules and the capsule in this hypermature cataract will not be healthy enough to withstand our stress during lateral separation. So we need to be conscious about these facts. So continuing to bury and chop again to remember that you know whenever the the grip loosens again give a short burst of fake at a different size engage it again sharp and these maneuvers are continued until we have multiple fragments of the nucleus available once we have all the fragments ready i think now is the time for us to uh, do the quadrant uh, removal. The FACO settings are slightly changed now. We are using the torsional part of the FACO energy which 
basically helps in uh, consuming these uh, fragments in a very efficient manner again certain aspects to be taken care of we don't want we don't want turbulence in the anti chamber and uh, we need to control the amount of energy which is delivered using the foot the FACO energy is set in a linear fashion so we need to find the right sweet spot of the foot pedal so that nucleus fragments don't jump around The second instrument is always held over the top of these nuclear fragments just to provide a sort of a umbrella like cover to prevent the small fragments going on hitting the uh, corneal endothelium. It just takes a couple of minutes to consume all the nucleus. Uh, there's not much of a cortex left there. Now is the time to implant the lens. So all in all, uh, in hypermature morgagnin cataracts, it's possible to perform phaco emulsification provided we have got reasonably strength these on use in capsule. Two critical factors for surgery in such eyes would be get the capsule access right. Second would be our chopping techniques have to be right to manage this free floating nucleus. So it's important to stabilize the nucleus with your second instrument, make a deep groove then sharp. So thank you so much for attention and hope this helps.